Born into one of the oldest industrial families in Delhi, Arun Bharatram started working at DCM at a very early age. So I had to learn how to operate a loom. After about two years, I became the general manager. Everything from buying to selling, something that I learned at that stage. And my father had brought forward a proposal that we should put up a nylon tire cord plant. A new company would be formed, which got to be known as SRF. And I got the opportunity of shifting over to SRF. But the early days of SRF were filled with challenges. We were still in the license Raj era. We struggled to diversify as much as we could. And I managed to get licenses for some adjacent businesses. With that, we got some stability in the company. That was a time when I decided that we shouldn't put all our stakes in the tire quad business. First started with refrigerant gases and specialty chemicals. With increasing global competition, Arun Bharatram knew that SRF needed a massive transformation. I could see the writing on the wall. If our products, processes were not in line with what was happening in the rest of the world, we would be wiped out. As a strategy, we had to change the way that we ran our businesses. So I took my entire top management team to Japan. Very quickly, we had a transformation started. At that point of time, we were amongst the early birds who worked through TQM. In 2004, we were awarded the Deming Award. I'm proud to say today, if you look at the tire cord business, packaging film business, refrigerant gas business, specialty chemicals, we are way ahead of others from just a nylon tire cord factory to a specialized factory making chemicals which are exceedingly difficult to make and specialize. That is innovation. And Mr. Arun Bhatram has to take the credit. Today, with a turnover of more than 7,500 crore rupees, 7,000 people and 14 manufacturing plants across the globe, SRF is poised for an exciting tomorrow. We just need to do more of the same and do better and better in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Arun Bharat Ram.